Yo, what's up, everyone? John Cristani here. I have a ton of gift cards I'm going to be giving away. I have, I am sorry. I've been, oh my gosh, I've been working a lot these past couple weeks, but I'm just going to start off and give you guys a lot of money. Um, sorry I missed the last two live streams, but I am here. Please, uh, if you want to have the best karma for getting some of these gift cards, make sure you share this video. Okay, share this video with whomever, with your social network. And I'm just going to be giving away a lot of money. I'm going to be answering questions about business or success or marketing, whatever you guys are going to draw value from. Um, ultimately, you know, as you guys know, I'm a marketer, software entrepreneur, all that stuff. Uh, and I've made a lot of money. So here, let's let's just start off. Uh, Merry Christmas. We're going to start this one off with... Uh, we're just going to give away an Amazon one, okay? We're going to give away Amazon money. So I'm going to show you all the money. We have $25 to $500 Amazon, $25 to $500 Amazon. We have $25 to $500 Amazon. We have uh, another gift card, $25 to $500, $25 to $500. We have a lot of more gift cards, Visa, MasterCard, Visa, and more money, more money, more money more money, more money. We have Xbox, $50. We have $100. With Amazon, we have Macy's. We have a lot of money to give away. Please share this video with your social network to uh, get as much um, good karma to win these things. Okay. Hey, what's up, everyone? Merry Christmas. Let me know where you're coming from uh, in the world. Uh, just let me know, you know, Austin, Texas or Croatia, whatever. So the way I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be giving away the money to redeem the money. You will go to the link uh, for this Amazon card. It's amazon.com backslash redeem. Okay. So I'm just going to write this in here. Okay. So let's, uh, I'm going to spam. Only I am allowed to spam my own chat. So let's open this one up. Uh, remember only one person, you know, again, this, there's a lot of people on this stream and only one person gets this. This is 25 to $500. Um, and let's open it up. I'm going to give away all the information right here. So let us, so here is the card and I am going to scratch off the back. And uh, basically, in the redeem area, you'll enter in the however much the card is for. So I'll just see. And let me. Okay. Have your stuff lined up. There it is. That's the card information. And there we go. 25 to $500. Whoever's the winner, uh, let me know. But there you go. If you didn't see the card information, you can just pause the video and rewind it. Okay. There we go. First giveaway. We have a lot more to give away today, obviously, as you see. I'm going to give away one Visa gift card now, too. Okay. So Visa, let's do it. And I'm going to give this away. Hello. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Um, and let me know if you have any questions for me. Please share this video with your social network. Uh, it'll give you good karma going into the new year. And uh, maybe you'll win one of these cards. So here is... So the way these cards work is you just have to spend them, okay? So that's that's basically it. You see the information's right here. So you just have to go online and spend the money from this somewhere, okay? There's the magic three right there. So all of these cards have money on them, okay? Amazon, you can just go to Amazon and redeem it. Visa, you have to actually just go online and spend this money somewhere. It's got anywhere between $25 to $500 on it, okay? Merry Christmas. Um, okay, folks, questions. Any questions? Uh, you got the Amazon. Awesome, Tomas. 
Congratulations. Uh, really stoked for you. I'm going to put this one down. We've given away two cards, and we have a lot more to go. Questions? Uh, questions, anyone, for me? Let me know. I see we have a lot of people here. Melissa, John Isaac, Shannon, Arik, Floor Lump. South Africa, California, Croatia, Texas, Holland. I read a big book about the Netherlands uh, recently and William of Orange. Very amazing, amazing ruler you guys had. Tennessee, what's up? Maryland, Croatia, United Kingdom, what's up? Israel. Cool. Why did I start? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's um, – where – where have I been? Los Angeles. Uh, how to make money from ClickBank. Farouk, I have videos on my channel about that. Just look up how to make money from, just type in ClickBank on my uh, channel and you'll see I have a lot of videos explaining step by step uh, on my computer how to make money from ClickBank. It doesn't really make sense to go over that right now because we'd be wasting everybody's time on something that you can just search for in my channel. Um, uh, what is, I need to be written. I don't know. Um, okay. What, where, why did I start and where did I get my inspiration? Uh, I started because I was in college and I started doing online, you know, business because I was in college and it just kind of seemed, I I'd, I'd been doing internships and it just kind of seemed boring uh, to, uh, work a job your whole life and just not really accomplish much. I wanted to do stuff that was interesting to me. And, um, I just figured I have a lot more options to pursue my interests if I have a lot of money. So I started learning about business. I started, and I really, you know, uh, and my inspiration, it just comes from, I'd say the military, um, you know, a lot, you know, military, there's a lot of discipline and, uh, you're mission focused. So I approach business with discipline and with a mission. Um, so the mission is to make a lot of money so I can start a space company. Um, and the discipline means that I just do whatever it takes to, be more successful in business, whatever I need to learn, uh, whatever I need to do, whether I need to sell, whether I need to put my face on camera, whether I need to hire people, whether I need to, you know, do whatever. If it's raise money or build software, or market things, it doesn't really matter to me. I just kind of um, I'll do whatever will build the business uh, further. OK, so, you know, where you get started doesn't matter at all. <laughs> you know, you can make money selling T-shirts. You can make money selling hats. You can make money selling beard care products. You can make money coaching people. You can make money doing a million different things. It's not about what business you go into. It's about how you execute, how you approach business, your discipline. Doesn't matter what business you get into. Let me know if you think it matters what business you get into. Okay. It doesn't that much. What matters is how you execute. And if I believe that if you are a bad employee, you're going to be a bad entrepreneur. So uh, if you're undisciplined as an employee working for someone else, you're probably good. You're, you're, you're going to be undisciplined working for yourself. Does that make sense? Type in makes sense <laughs> if you hear what I'm saying. Um, because a lot of the folks that come into my programs, they're undisciplined to start with. So uh, a lot of people who take any online trainings are very undisciplined and they they're just looking for an easy button. Um, don't be undisciplined. Work hard. OK, let's see. Let's give another. Uh, what should we give away now? Should we give away? Um, OK, which um Macy's or Xbox? I have $50 for Xbox and I have $50 at Macy's. Type in the chat what you'd like to see me give away. Xbox or Macy's? Let's see the chat. Okay, what's going on here? I'm just giving away money. Um, how is the print on demand business? Great, it works. Lots of people making lots of money. Very easy to start a business, right? 
Um, okay. Xbox. Is it is. Okay, so let's do this. So Xbox, the code redemption. See that right there? Let me see. Right there, Microsoft.com backslash redeem. Okay, so I'm gonna type that in here. Yeah, I got the game Cyberpunk. It's sick. I've been playing playing it a bit. Okay, so I'm going to scratch this right now. Uh, where's my where's my freaking Guys, where did I put my Where did I put my coin? Do you guys see where I put my coin that I used to scratch things? Did I really just lose my coin? What the hell? Okay, well. Okay, well, we're going to scratch it with my keys. Okay, we are. $50 free money for Xbox. Pug, Pug Penguin. No, I don't know anybody named Pug Penguin. Okay, there we go. How do we know who is the winner? I don't know. <laughs> How would I know? I don't know. People go in the chat sometimes and they're like, I won, but I don't know if they actually won. I think some people just... Yeah, to see if you... I mean, if you get it, you just have to be the fastest person to type it in. Hey, what's up, Entrepreneur Mindset? Yeah, there's a lot more Amazon cards. There's a lot more Amazon cards. Look at this, folks. Look how, look, look, okay. These are visas. I, I have so many gift cards. Here's $100 in Amazon. Here's more Amazons. I mean, I have a ton of Amazon cards here. Uh, but, you know, I have, I, have, I have a lot of gift cards I'm giving away. Um, question, I need another, some good questions. Um, while I give away this money. Okay. Thank you so much. You won. Congratulations, meme tube. That's awesome. Okay. What is the best traffic for CPA marketing? <laughs> there is no best traffic. It all works. I mean, the best traffic is, you know, I'd say going from an advertorial, right? Um, the best traffic is whatever you can get the cheapest. Some people know how to do email. Some people have their own audiences. Um, Facebook's great, right? But Facebook's also bans you a lot, right? So like the best traffic, it's all subjective. It all it's all working. Um, it just matters what you can get to work, what you get profitable. Um, I've always preferred doing paid advertising, uh, just because you know that's what I got good at. Yeah, Facebook is hit miss, but some people could say it's the best, right? So it's it's subjective. It's like asking like. What's the best type of woman? Is it a white woman? Is it an Asian woman? Is it a black woman? Is it a brown woman? There's no best. It's just different. And that's the problem people make when going about business. I'm going to open up this card while I, uh, oh, $50 right here. Okay, $50. Um, uh, the problem a lot of people make when approaching business is they constantly are like doubting themselves. They have this problem and they're always looking for the best right? The best. What is the best business? What's the best thing to sell? What's the best website to market on? And it's scarcity, right? Because people who are looking for the best, they're scared. That's what, that's what they allow to rule their life is fear. Okay. And they're scared of failing. Okay. It doesn't matter what the best is. What matters is you get in the game. Right. If I told you the best type of women to date are Latina girls, then, you know, you, you could say, OK, I'm going to go to Mexico and I'm going to hit I'm going to go to a Latin club. It's not going to improve your chances. What matters is execution. It's all about execution. Do you work hard? Right. You're competing when you start an online business. It doesn't matter what you start an online business in. You're competing against millions of people. OK. 
How do you compete against them? It's through execution. Um, here is the gift card. Let me scratch this off um, right now. Oh, actually, you don't need to scratch anything off. Here's the numbers. See that? Then there's the magic three. And this card, you just have to spend. Okay, you have to spend it immediately. One person will be able to use it. It has got $50 on it. You see right there, it's got $50. So you just have to go online anywhere you can buy things and spend the money. That's it, just go spend the money. Merry Christmas, but you have to spend it right now or else somebody else on this stream will. Um, okay, affiliate marketing is very stressful for me. Yeah, you know what else is stressful? Like other jobs, I don't know. If, if I mean, if you don't want, I don't encourage everyone to be an entrepreneur. Most people are undisciplined. 99% of people have no discipline. All they're doing, you see them scrolling on their phones, you know, their phone beeps, they look at it. Their phone buzzes, they look at it. Their phone blinks, they look look at it and start, you know, liking photos. And that's undisciplined. That's being reactive. 99% of people are better off being bossed around by somebody else. Okay? 99%. 1% of people is meant to be the boss. And apply their skills be the boss of themselves but to be your own boss you need to be a boss you need to be disciplined okay you don't just hang out smoke weed and not work and call yourself an entrepreneur that's that's fiction okay let's give away more money folks um okay let's give away uh what should we give away Okay, should we give away the birthday card, which has got twenty to five hundred dollars on it, which is good for these stores? Type in birthday if I should give away this card, or type in girls if I should type uh, give away this card. Okay, type in girls, girls or birthday. Congratulations, Dad! By night, <laughs> you got fifty dollars. Sick. Okay, what's the biggest factor that helps? I'm going to give you guys a girl card. Um, this has twenty to fifty dollars on, twenty to five hundred dollars on it, so you have to spend it. Okay, you have to spend this card at these stores. Okay, see these stores online? See all those Macy's, Cheesecake Factory, Panera Bread, Ulta, Pete's. You have to spend this. Okay, so let me. Uh, let me scratch this off and um, I'm going to scratch off this and then I'll show it to you guys. Um, the biggest factor that helped me. Oh, wow. This is small. Okay. So the numbers are really small here. See, it's right there. See that? And you can spend it on these stores. Cool. Uh, the biggest factor that helped me become successful, um, I would say is surrounding myself with successful people. And I'd say having parents who were hard workers, right? The big, yeah, the biggest factor would be growing up with parents who were hard workers and disciplined because um, most of our education comes from osmosis. It comes from the environment we're grown up in. It's why poor people have a tendency, people who had poor parents tend to be poor adults and people who have rich parents tend to grow up and become rich. It's not the inheritance, it's the cycle of thinking, right? Poor people tend to be a little more emotional and react to situations more emotionally. Rich people don't. So I'd credit my parents, but I'd also credit myself with surrounding 
myself with ambitious, hardworking, successful people. And it's awkward at first, right? Because the, the people you grow up with and the guys, the girls you grow up with, they're not always successful, right? They're not always ambitious. It's just hanging out, right? It's comfortable and easy and, you know, you know them, but it's very hard to reach outside your social circles and find new people to kind of replace the old ones you hung out with. It's a very difficult process. That is, was a big key because when you surround yourself with millionaires, then you're, you're just going to increase your chances of becoming a millionaire yourself exponentially. Okay. Um, let's give away more money, folks. Okay. We're going to give away the, where, where's the next money we're going to give away. I have a lot more gift cards to give away. Uh, let's, let's start with the birthday card. Okay. We're going to do happy birthday. This has 20 to $500 on it. And you can spend this money at these stores. Okay. Hey, Brenda, nice to see you. Where are you coming from? Thank you so much for being on the stream and supporting. Please share this stream with your friends. I'm going to be giving away money for a little bit more here. Probably another like 30 minutes. I have a lot of, I have a lot, I have a lot of gift cards to give away. You know, I know a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. I have a lot of stuff. So let's, uh, let's open up this one. And you guys remember, just go out and spend the money. Just spend the money on these ones. Um, questions, questions. What did I eat today? I'm eating fried rice. See, I'm eating uh, beef fried rice. I, um, uh, yeah, I just made myself fried rice. I took some leftovers. I put some sesame oil in a uh, pan. I threw in some ponzu sauce, some teriyaki, some uh, sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, and I just stirred it all up, let it let it heat up, and I'm eating it. I usually eat about two meals a day. Okay, here you go. Those are the stores you can spend it at. Go online. There's the card information. Expiration date. There we go. Okay. Did I build a Christmas tree? Yeah, we, I mean, we cut, you know, we bought a Christmas tree. Yeah. I still confused where to start. Look, look up, uh, here, I'll give you johncastani.com backslash start here. Um, if you're looking at where to start, just uh, go to that link. Type that link, John Cristani, start here. Um, best trends for 2021 in business. Um, I mean, the internet. <laughs> any, I, I mean, first off, just anything selling products on the internet is is a fantastic idea. Um, it's been a fantastic idea. It's still a fantastic idea. Um, there's, if you haven't started a business yet on the internet, you're probably messed up here somehow, right? You have too much like self-doubt or blame or lack of confidence. I don't know. If you haven't started an internet business, I think you're nuts. Um, other big trends, teaching people how to make money online and how to work and make money from home is obviously a huge thing this year. Uh, that's obviously what I do. Um, and I, now we're creating software to help people do that. So I, I think teaching people how to make money is fantastic. Selling products on the internet is fantastic. Anything really, people are just buying stuff on the internet. Um, uh, I'd say, you know, if you really want to go bit, like if you're watching me right here on this channel, uh, you're probably haven't started an internet business yet, or you haven't seriously started it. Okay. That's what you need to do going above and beyond that. I'd say. Um, uh, definitely taking offline processes and taking them online, connecting things to the internet is still, I'd say for the next decade, um, 
that is going to be the biggest thing you can do. If you're just connecting offline stuff to the internet, you are going to win. Let me give an example. Uber, okay? Taxis were for 100 years, they were offline, right? You paid with cash, you went inside. It wasn't a completely connected experience. You weren't calling cabs with an app. Another is, so that was great, right? Booking hotels, all this stuff, right? Getting off, off of travel agents. Think about anything where it, you, you are not doing a fully connected experience. Um, here's an example. So um, ordering stuff from a store, right? Uh, you go into a store, it's not a totally online experience. You wanna make it, how can you make the experience totally online? Shopping for clothing requires you know putting it on trying it on seeing if it fits right seeing if it feels right if you can make that process more online right if more of it is connected right maybe you're visualizing maybe you create a you know like those mirrors that allow you to see yourself in augmented reality wearing a piece of clothing if you can take those offline experiences online you are winning right meeting people OK, meeting people, there's a new chat app. You know, there are a lot of new chat apps where people just meet strangers. Right. So there's so many of these processes that if you can improve dating in some weird way. A lot of offline stuff. Take it online. OK, let's give um, card, 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 card. He, OK, let's give away. Uh, let's give away Amazon. So twenty five to five hundred dollars. Just going to give this away. You have to go to Amazon.com slash redeem. OK. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, did I rip the card? Oh, you can't. OK, well. Almost almost ripped the entire card. OK. OK, well, here I'm going to scratch it. Oh no. Okay, well, this one kind of came out weird, but this is twenty five to five hundred dollars. Uh it kind of got ripped, kind of ripped it. But you can kind of make out that's a Q. That letter is a Q, I believe. Okay, twenty-five to five hundred dollars on that one. Um, questions. I will not shave. What do I think of print on demand? Yeah, people buy clothes. I think it's great. I think it's a good way to start a business um, because, you know, the best businesses to start are ones that don't require a lot of upfront investment. Um, print on demand, the nice thing about it is because it's on demand, it allows you to start a clothing company without any investment. You just have to sell the product, right? If you can move product, if you can sell or market things and get people buying stuff, again, you make money and you don't have to spend any money to do it. So all of those businesses, right? E-commerce, drop shipping, print on demand, you don't have affiliate marketing, you're not spending any money and you're making money. So that's how you get into business. Again, most people, if you don't have discipline, Go work a job and create your discipline for yourself and become the best employee in the entire company. If you do have discipline, start a business and make a lot of money. Simple. Um, is affiliate and print on demand good? Yeah, all these things are good. But if you're asking if they're good, you're probably lazy and self-doubting. And that's the reason you haven't started it. So it's one of those chicken and egg scenarios. Make sense? It's kind of like, if you're constantly doubting, you're like, is this good? Is this good? Is, is, is this business better? 
right? You're scared. You're just scared. So if you go about business that way, you're not going to win because you're going to say, I think this business, I think I'm going to try this business. And then you try that business and then you don't make any money after a day. And then you're like, I, and then you get an email from somebody saying this business is, you know, the business you're doing sucks. You should try this business instead. And you say, oh, maybe that business is sucky. I'm going to try this. And then you just jump around, right? I see it all the time. People start one business. They get an email. Somebody says that business sucks. And then they're like, I'm going to start a different business. And again, it all goes back to folks being scared. Was my best video? I don't know. I've made hundreds. Uh, I mean, just look at the most popular videos. Some of them, some of my most popular videos are ads, but, uh, you know, whatever. Th those are pretty good videos too. Um, okay, let's open up this card. Okay, so we have this, which is 50 to $500. You have to go spend it. Um, and here is the card information. Okay, the way you use these cards is you just spend them. I see a lot of people in the chat saying, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you win? Guys, stop being idiots. <laughs> just spend it. That's what you do. You and you go buy something online. You have to buy it, I think, within the range of whatever this is, like $25 to $500, okay? Am I, am, I, am I crazy for repeating myself? Can people start, like, flaming people in the chat if they're asking me stupid questions? You guys all have my permission to flame folks. Um, can I offer my course free of cost? Yeah, I could, but then I'd have, like, no... <laughs> <laughs> like no self worth. Actually, we can't offer it completely free of cost because we uh we uh we give people a domain. So the cheapest I could charge for my course is ten bucks, but I don't. I charge two thousand dollars. No, I'm not giving it away for free. Um, well, because I mean, we I have a full team. We spend like fifty thousand dollars. I spend like fifty thousand dollars a month building software, right? So. Microsoft could give their software away for free. Almost, you know, almost any computer company can give their stuff away for free, but they don't because they're continually building a product, right? And also, here's the other reason I don't give my course away for free is because if you're broke, if you don't have any money, then I don't want to work with you, okay? Because if you don't have any savings, if you don't have any money to invest in courses and software then the chances are you have not been successful financially in any other area of your life, okay? So if you aren't successful financially, at least to some small degree yet, then the chances are you will not be successful when starting a new business, okay? At least if you have some money, it shows that you have some level of business, sales, marketing, discipline, sort of type of skills, okay? Does that make sense? So again, I want to work with people who are going to be successful. So I have a threshold. I'm not willing to work with broke people, okay? Not a good idea. And really, any business you go into, broke people should not be your target, okay? You don't want your target market to be broke people because if your target market is broke people, you're not going to sell a lot of stuff and you're not going to make a lot of money. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, yeah, people make, lots of people make millions of from affiliate marketing for free. Just go to Google and like search baby diapers and you'll see a bunch of blogs um, just run by people. They rank in Google. They're not paying Google any money and they're showing up in Google, right? Um, okay. Okay. What if a person is starting from scratch and has promised to be successful? Again, they should then go make money. Just just go go sell something. Go sell something. Okay? Or work a job and work your way up. Um, do I have I'm a nice person. Thanks guys. I've been calling um, best niche for January. Uh, I mean, anything do, dealing with self-improvement. So uh, I'd say biz, uh, Nutra, you know, anything to help people improve, right? Dating. Um, uh, it's, 
what is it? Weight loss. Products that make you look more beautiful. Products that lower your anxiety. Products that make you more rich, right? Like Bizop. Um, Nutra and Bizop are always winners. So I would say those are the two. Hello, Lorna Cataron from UAE. Great to meet you. Guys, and also send me videos. Feel free to post videos online. I'd love to uh, testimonials or whatever. Um, I just downloaded a video recorder now. Questions. When we spend money and then we are more serious. Okay. Weapons that affiliate marketing depends on. Weapons. Yeah. Um, I would say, I mean, a lot of the weapons are skills, frankly. It's research, copywriting, and uh, data analysis. Right. So your ability to like look at numbers and write good ads are good. But I'd say if you're talking about weapons in terms of software, uh, I'd, I'd say like a click tracker, a good click tracker, like volume definitely helps you take things to the next level. Um, I'd say a swipe file. Swipe files are gold. I, you know, I talk a lot in my uh, in my sessions. I, I teach I do two live sessions a month. And uh, what I go over with my students is about finding or creating swipe files. Um, swipe files are just collections of ads in a particular niche that work. Um, free Dom professor. I already said, like, yes, just look it up. Like, I, it's such a scared question. If you keep spam, I'm, I'm blocking you, freedom, freedom professor, okay? Um. Yeah, guys, please like report people who are spamming. Um, you're not going to get anything for free, for, not any free courses from me. You'll get free money from me, right? Uh, can I get rich friends? Show me your friends. I'll show you your future. Yeah, exactly. Get rich friends. Hang out where rich people hang out. It's pretty easy. Every town has rich people in it. Find out where they hang out. They don't always... They're not always flashy. Most people aren't flashy wearing flashy stuff. Okay, so let's give away some more money. Um, okay, should we give away? I'm giving away a Visa gift card. This is $20 to $500 on it. I'm going to open this up. Oh, wow. Okay, I have to give away more money faster. Sorry, folks. I've been going slow. Um, money, please. Okay, Brian, coming right up. Okay, so here is the next card. And here's the magic code on the back. You guys get to see how much I bite my fingernails. It's kind of embarrassing. And this card, you just have to spend. Okay, that's the way this works. You just have to spend it on... Um, online somewhere to get the money. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if it's international. I, I don't know. It's a credit card. It's like somebody's showing you credit card information to go spend it on the internet. I mean, if you can't figure out how to get free money from that, then but do you want me to like fly over there and like hold your hand and like put my arm around you and be like, hey, let's let me show you how to use free money. Come on, guys. Um, OK, AJ Buxanis asks, so instead of starting their life with your course, they should start first make money elsewhere and be successful and then take your course. Yeah, I think you should work hard in your job. OK, well, everybody's already started their life somewhere else. Um, I don't care when people decide they're going to get their life together financially. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, what I would suggest though, is that you work in a job that is commission based. Okay. Or has incentives, um, work a job where it's not just an hourly wage or a monthly salary, work a job where you are paid based on what you produce. That is going to be the best life training for you to become successful. Because once you get used to being paid for results, your mind flips from how we're conditioned in college, which is to be paid to obey instructions. Okay. 
colleges and the government and the media teaches us you get money for following directions. That's not how entrepreneurs think, though. Entrepreneurs get paid based on results. Anybody who's rich is not paid for following directions. People who are rich are paid for results. Okay, so once you start getting your mind into producing results, you'll be much better. How most people go about life is they just go to their job and then they're lazy and they say, my boss sucks, my coworkers suck, my wage sucks, my you know, customers suck, and they just complain, 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 complain all day. Instead of thinking to themselves, how can I get better? How can I get a promotion? How can I get a raise? How can I make everybody happier? How can I get tips? How can I make people happier? How can I get good reviews? How can I make my boss look good? Those are questions high quality individuals are asking themselves. Okay, folks. Um, okay, I'm going to go over another question here. I see we have a couple questions. Um, which black hatting methods I did? I did cloaking uh, for a while. So I was cloaking links, but it's kind of like, you know, it's hit or miss because cloaking doesn't always work. Um, you know, what I think is best is just kind of taking a much, uh, is just getting good at marketing um, and really just learning the process. You don't need to cloak to become successful. Most of the money I made was not cloaking at all. Um, I want to see you without my beard. You can look me up. Just look up John Cristani without beard. Uh, back of last card, please. You just rewind the video, dude. Like, what, what the hell are you asking? <laughs> I, I showed the back of the card. Do you not know how to rewind a YouTube video? Uh, what drives me to keep going when it's really tough? Great question. Um, Cause yeah, you know, when we all have, you know, I'd say, you know, some of the big issues for my life are, you know, my family isn't happy with how much I work. Right. Um, so it's hard, right. I have two young daughters um, and, you know, it's definitely difficult. Um, you know, my fam, you know, the, my extended family doesn't want me to go on business trips that I know I needed to go on. Right. I went on a couple business trips recently. My whole family's freaking out. They're like, I'm going to die. They're saying I'm going to die. And I'm putting everybody else's life in danger to go on a business trip. And I know I needed to do it to grow my business. But everyone around me is my family. My closest family is saying I'm going to kill everyone. Right. I'm like the death bringer. And those situations are really tough. Because we all have them in business, right? Even if you're starting a business, all your friends say that you shouldn't, you shouldn't start your own business. You shouldn't invest in this. You shouldn't, and it's hard. How do you deal with it? Um, you have to be confident, right? It takes confidence. It takes knowing yourself. Um, it takes doing the research. It takes becoming good and seeing those results. It takes. Really, it takes confidence and just knowing yourself, okay? Knowing what mission, what path your life is on. Sure, I could have, I could have told my family, I said, okay, I won't go on this business trip. But then, you know, my business doesn't grow as fast. I could have said, okay, I won't work as much. And then some things go unseen in my business and it goes slower. Um, and it's not, it's an undisciplined approach. You know, I, when I really get into tough situations, I try not to think about it, right? Like I'm, I write down what I need to do each day. I just have bullet points and I just follow, I just follow the list. So I try to keep it simple for myself. I try not to think about it too much and I limit myself. One thing that I do a lot now is I've been doing in some way, shape or form for a while is whenever I'm about to say something stupid, right? Let's say I get angry or I get sad. And I want to say something that's mean or hurtful or maybe anxious. I just, I just count to 10. In tough situations, I count to a thousand. I'll give it 30 minutes. Okay. I always limit myself. Um, if I decide on, you know, I decided on an advisor and I'm paying one of my advisors $12,500 a month. Um, 
Now, what I could have done is I could have, you know, after six months, we didn't show that much progress. So I wanted to say, okay, I'm just going to cut this off and save myself $12,000 a month. But what I did instead, I, I personally committed to working with this advisor for a year. So I follow through on that. That was tough. It's a lot of money. 12000 I could have put somewhere else. Another example of a tough situation I got in when it was tough was shooting YouTube videos. I committed at the beginning of the year to putting out five videos a week. The last few months have been, I've just been overloaded with, you know, growing my business. It hasn't made sense. YouTube doesn't make me any money. It doesn't. It's like, you know, I have a lot of subscribers, but everybody's, you know, basically broke on here. So it's not really a, a conduit for me to make any money. I, you know, I have tons of ads on TV all around the US, but I committed to it. So I just figured out a situation of how to get my videos still out the door. And I just made it shorter amounts of time that I'm committing to YouTube. Um, so you have to make tough decisions, but discipline I'd say is very important. Um, would I write a book with Tim Ferriss? Yeah, I'd love to, but I mean, I don't think he'd want to. Let's give away some money. Okay, this is uh, 25 to $50. Um, and you can use this on spafinder.com. So let's see. Spafinder.com, ready to spa. I'm going to type in. Ready to spa. Okay. Hey, 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 everyone is joining. Okay, let's open this guy up. Um, I'm going to scratch this. Okay, and here's the information. And I put the... I don't know if Pakistanis are allowed on ClickBank. You can write ClickBank. Okay, I'm not ClickBank. I'm a, just a dude who runs a business. My biz, I don't own ClickBank. You ask them. Okay, see it? Got it. Um, questions. What is my net worth right now? It's in the millions. It's not in the tens of millions. That's the, uh, that's the closest I'll, I'll get you guys. Um, bro. Okay, who else? Who else? What other questions? This is real Santa. Why Fiverr traffic sucks? I don't know. Um, what is your best high paying course to buy? I only have one. Uh, it's called Super Affiliate System. Um, Redbubble store page. I don't know how to get your first sale. Market to people who want your shit. Okay. Like if you make shirts for truck drivers, target truck drivers. When do I plan on retiring? I don't know. Whenever I get bored. Um, whenever I don't think I can make a big impact anymore. Probably when it stops getting fun. Um, are watches a profitable niche? I don't know. I mean, people buy watches online. I'd imagine there's like a couple people that own watches in the world. So. You know, if one person buys a watch every day, I'm sure I'm sure a couple people buy watches every day, actually. Um, what course did I study in college? I studied marketing, but marketing never like taking more classes in college. It didn't really teach me anything. Um, what taught me stuff was actually going out and doing it. So, you know, when I was when I was going out in marketing, I, you know, here I, I mean, I, I'll show you how I started marketing. I just write a big headline. I'd say, you know, like. Uh, you know, I'd say, you know, like if I were advertising my course, I just write, you know, make money online. You know, I'd write a big headline and then I, you know, draw, you know, I'd say email me. Then I'd put in, you know. So I do some tear tabs like that, you know, and then it 
So I just put out these flyers, right? With, you know, I just put up flyers, you know, I, I, this isn't what I was selling, but you know, I'd be like, make money online, email me. And then, you know, there'd be tabs and then people would come around and tear the tab off and they'd email me and I'd sell them stuff. And I put up flyers like this all around town, all around my college campus. I mean, the paper was free from my college. I just print it for free. And then I just take the scissors and kind of cut it. And these are these work surprisingly well, you know. So this was my introduction to marketing. And I learned that if I changed around what this, you know, what my headline was, that like different people, some more people would respond or less people would respond. Depending on just the words I put on this piece of paper, some words would make more people tear and eat the tab and email me. So I was like, this is sick, right? I just print out paper and stick it up places and I get people, I, I start making money, right? So, so it's, I learned more from the process of actually doing marketing, if that makes sense, than like studying it in a textbook where they're like, you know, what ad is better? Does that make sense, everybody? Does that make sense? Okay, let's give away some more money here. Okay, so we have we have a lot of Amazon cards left. We have $100 on Amazon. We have a $25 to $500 on Amazon. We have a Visa card. Um, and then we have another Visa card uh, for $25 to $500. And then we have a $50 Macy's card. So should I give away the Macy's card, $50 on Macy's or $20 on Visa? Type in Visa or Macy's, okay? This could be just $20, and this is guaranteed $50. So which one would you like, Macy's, get yourself some clothes, or Visa, okay? Visa, Visa, Visa. We're not doing Amazon. I'm doing Amazon later. Okay, so B set is. So let's tear this bad boy open and open this guy up. Questions, and let me know if there are any more questions. Um, this is your time for Q&A, okay? So any more questions for me? And these cards you have to spend immediately, okay? Or else somebody else will spend it. That's the three digit code on the back. I think it's called the CCV code. Okay. There you go. Um, I wish to have $50 for food to eat with your family. Come on, get a job. Like if you don't have food to eat with, go, go to a tree and pick some food, you know, like, dude, if you're what, if you have need food to feed your family, you shouldn't be watching YouTube right now. <laughs> okay. Just go hunting, find some rabbits, find a squirrel, find a tree with fruit on it, okay? You shouldn't be watching YouTube if you need to act like your family's literally starving. Am I, is, is that good advice? <laughs> oh. um, okay. What is my greatest idea ever? Um, my greatest idea ever... I'd say is watching just tons of interviews of billionaires, like just trying to understand how they think, right? Literally uh, just watching interviews with highly successful people over and over and over again as kind of like a long-term thing. That has been so awesome for just helping train my mind slowly, right? Like I'm a hard case. I'm not like super genius, smart guy or anything, but I am stubborn and I just keep watching interviews with billionaires and it's slowly shifting my mind to think higher level, longer term, innovative. Um, and I see the results. It's slow, right? It's subtle. Mind shifts are usually subtle over a long period of time. And that's, I don't know, that's been my greatest idea. Um, I've watched maybe 500 interviews, hour long interviews. I'm talking those long, boring, you know, they don't have any fast cuts. They don't have any chat, just interviews, one on one interviews with very rich people. Bro, stop spending. What, what is bro? 
Um, did I promote offers? Okay, you're getting. Um, okay, hello from North Africa. Did I get, did I promote porn offers? No, I mean, yeah, I've promoted porn offers, but I never did it a lot. Like it was never, it was never, it was just something I did for fun, right? Like I market things for fun. Um, okay, here, I'm going to give away fifth. Actually, let me give away something else first. I'm going to give away. Okay. So we have a couple more gift cards to give away. We have Macy's and we have two Amazon gift cards and a visa gift card. I'm going to give away. Should give away visa or Macy's visa or Macy's 20 to $500 on visa, $50 on Macy's. Okay. Yeah. My webinar is still converting. I'm giving away Macy's $50. You redeem this. Okay, so to redeem this card, you have to use this card on Macy's.com. Buy yourself something from Macy's.com. Wait, let me type it in. Okay, so that's where you spend this, okay? Let me open it up. Okay, so Macy's $50. And this is the important one. It's eight zero zero nine. And you have to spend it immediately or else somebody else on this stream will spend it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's uh, other questions. How to make my roots of thinking of positive and successful. Uh Again, just listen to successful people. Watch interviews with rich of people who are rich and successful. Interviews, long, boring, one hour interviews, okay? I think that's a really good way to help yourself become successful because the more you listen to inter rich people being interviews, the more, the more uh, you kind of soak in how they think. Okay, so maybe you spend an hour a day chatting with your friends, an hour a day chatting with your family. Spend two hours listening to interviews of billionaires. Because then, now, that's one of the influences in your life. My favorite billionaire. Um, I mean, I've, let me think. I mean, I'm obviously just really into Jeff Bezos. I think he has fantastic discipline. Um, I think he has uh, long-term thinking. All these guys have long-term thinking. I'd say my favorite one is Larry Ellison. Um, Larry Ellison, he's, again, very disciplined, tenacious. And he's also very big into kind of like extreme adrenaline type sports sailing and flying and all that stuff. So I really like all of the, um, I like all of that stuff he does. He's very secretive. So it's also like very special if I ever find new material or new interviews of Larry Ellison, because it's so difficult to find um, material on how he thinks, but he's, he's obviously made so much money. It's unbelievable. Um, and he's also, similar to many of the other recent batch of billionaires, he's retained a lot of control, right? And he had this foresight. You know, I also think very much similar to him. He's not a technical guy, right? He's 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 not a programmer per se. Like, he, he doesn't really do that much stuff in the programming area. 
but he was able to identify trends, you know, with databases, for instance, and he just figured out how to get it out there. So I really like that. I'm going to be giving away $20 to a $500 here. Um, can I have a free Amazon gift card? Yeah, you can have any of the ones I sent, dude. Stop being lazy. Oh, my God. These guys are so lazy. Yeah, I love Elon Musk. Um, best way to promote adult CPA offers uh, just on a budget. Just set up a dating profile. Put a picture of a pretty girl. Put up so create social profiles. Make him look like it's a pretty girl with like big boobs, and uh, then chat with guys, and like flirt with them a little bit until uh, and then tell them to uh, if they want to see more to, you know, click on your link, and buy the sign up for your dating website, okay? Like that's how you do it. That's 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 dating on a budget. Are my methods for money legit? No, 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 no. Every, every, you know, all my, all my videos are just, you know, I'm, I'm just bored and I like putting misinformation on the internet, you know, <laughs> why not? You know, I figure best use of my time. Um, this is my real name, John Cristani, John Robert Cristani. Um, who is your mentor? Uh, I've had a couple. Um, Kelly Felix, I talk about a lot. Um, you know, now I, my mentors are like advisors, right? So like I pay them through my company and, uh, I'm really excited. I think I'm going to have somebody, you know, a new mentor very soon, bringing on a new advisor to my company. And what I do is with my advisors is I treat my advisors like my boss and I basically do whatever they say, even if I have misgivings about doing it. So is that weird? Right. Is that weird that I do things that I feel uncomfortable doing? Did you know that most normal people don't do that? Most normal people just if they don't want to do something, they don't do it. Right. If they don't if they have a choice. Um, again, it goes back to discipline. Discipline. Um Okay, we're going to give away $20 to $500 Visa gift card. Then I'm going to start wrapping this up. We'll give away the rest of the money here soon. We have some Amazon cards. We have some big money on Amazon to give away, left remaining. Um, are you Italian? Uh, my my great-grandparents were Italian uh, on my father's side. So on my – yeah, so let me know if that makes sense. My great-grandparents, so half of my family is Italian. And but it what it was my great grandparents that came over from Italy. Okay, so uh, they came over from Italy. They came through Philadelphia. Then they came into Pittsburgh, and they started working in the steel mills. Well, sorry, one one side started a deli, an Italian deli, and other parts of my family were working in steel mills um, and coal mines, and uh, then. You know, my dad moved out to California to work in the TV industry. Mom's side was Italian or was Irish. They moved into Boston, then into Chicago. Um, construction. That old family worked in construction, and then they, my mom moved out to California to pursue uh, writing. What's my greatest fear when it comes to online marketing? Uh, my greatest fear, I don't know. I hate losing accounts. I hate losing ad accounts for like bans or like disapprovals. So I guess my greatest fear is just like sometimes I'm like, when I submit an ad, I'm like, will they disapprove this for some BS reason? Um, I'd say my greatest fear is probably being hacked. I've been hacked a couple times where just guys, because I have a lot of people who follow me, that I've just had my computer just completely taken over. So I've uh, spent some time like studying like secure internet security type of stuff so that I don't get hacked. Um, uh, I got the gift cards from the Vons down the street. They have a grocery store. Then they have what's called a gift card section. And then, I mean, what the fuck? 
It's a fun. <laughs> Like, are you not? I guess you're not familiar with gift cards. You just they they have a big stack of them, and then you pick which ones you want. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I go to Vons, so usually I go to Vons because Vons has Target and Amazon. Um, dumb questions. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Call these call these fools out. Um, how do I define success? I define success as re getting. I want. So first off, to retire, you know, there's a couple levels of success. First off is the retirement success, which is six million dollars in my invest in my retirement account, not land, money, cash in an investment account. Right. That would allow me to live the rest of my life on my current salary, which is two hundred and forty thousand dollars a year. Um. Obviously, I make more than that, but it's accounted for differently. The next level of success is $200 million. So I want, you know, and that's what I'm working towards right now. I'm working towards getting $200 million because that's the amount of money, based on my research, that you need to start a space company. Okay, 200, and I can start a space company. Now, to reach $200 million, I need to do different things, right? That's why I'm creating a software company, right? I've made a lot of money doing affiliate marketing, so, but I'm never going to make $200 million doing affiliate marketing, or it's going to be very difficult. I have to change how I'm doing everything. That's why I'm going into software. That's why I went into TV, um, but even advertising on TV wouldn't make me 200. So I want to... I don't need to be successful with a space company. I just want to try. I want to be involved. Okay. And I know by being involved, I'll also start surrounding myself with a peer group of some of the smartest people in the world. So in effect, even through just the act of trying, I am going to be at the top level of the world. Um, even if I lose the $200 million, I would still never have to work the rest of my life if I didn't want to, right? Because, I mean, that was the first goal. So everything else is great. So it's, it's about having fun. I believe we need to go up. I believe it's a moral duty, a religious duty, a, a societal duty, a technological duty. I believe it's everything. We need to go up. And we all can do that. We just need to make a lot of money and we can be involved in the greatest race, in the greatest project that's ever been around in the history of the earth. It's insane. Everyone here can be involved. It's not easy, but we can do it. Okay. So I want to have fun, right? That, that, that would be freaking sick. That's my goal. If I were to start from scratch with zero, what is my best and easiest advice? Just start doing social media. Post on social media every single day and talk about products or books or music. Talk about stuff that people can pay for, that you paid for, that has had a positive impact on your life. Talk about it on Facebook. Talk about it on a YouTube video. All of these things are free. You have a smartphone. You can point the smartphone at your face and produce content for free and get it out to people. Your friends who are stupid and broke, who don't buy anything, will start not following you. That's a good thing. You don't want those people around you. And the people who are interested in the products you talk about will start following you. And you will build an audience and you will build around selling stuff, okay? The internet is not meant for socialization. It's meant for selling things, okay? If I wanna socialize, I do it in person. If I'm on the internet, I'm doing it to sell things, okay? Um, we're gonna give away this Amazon card. This is, uh, you guys want Amazon? Who here is excited? Guys, type in random gibberish or something in the in the chat. If you are excited, we're giving away Amazon. We're almost at the hundred. This is twenty-five to five hundred dollars. We're almost at the hundred dollar guaranteed number. 
Do you know NASA was started for Nazis? No, but not surprised. Um, uh, let's, oh, wait, here, I'll show you guys. Amazon, boom. Just going to type this in here, amazon.com backslash redeem. What are the dumbest questions I receive? Uh, the dumbest questions I receive are like, where do you find, you know, like I literally people are like, where can I find your videos? I'm like, click the little thing that says John Cristani, you know, search my name. Or people ask me, you know, if I have like a free course and I'm like, yeah, I have a free course. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, people continually ask me, where do I start? What's the best niche to go into? What's better, affiliate marketing or drop shipping or stock trading or whatever? And but I get those questions on repeat. Right. It's everybody's just repeating. What's the best business to start? What's the best business to start? What's the best traffic source? You know, is it Google or Facebook or YouTube? What's the best? What's the best? And I get I get the what's the best thing to like start on repeat. Um, I consider that a stupid question. Um, I kind of went into the reason why, but ultimately it gets down to people are asking what's the best. 99% of the time they haven't done anything yet. They haven't tried to start any business. They're just... It's like they're just gathering opinions, but it's like useless for me to even spend time answering these things. Because um, at the end of the day, people who are asking me what's the best are likely going to do nothing. Um, and the answer to that question is, I mean, for those that just joined, is there, there is no best. It's like asking, are black girls better than white girls or better than Asian girls? They're not, there's no best. There's just different. Right. It's like asking who's better, your younger daughter, or your older daughter. They're, they're, no one of them is better. They're just different. OK. It doesn't matter what what business you start or what traffic source. It matters that you master it and you focus on it and you're disciplined and you work through the obstacles. You can. There are people with millions of followers on Facebook. There are people on YouTube, Instagram. It just matters that you go out there and get traffic. You get to go out there and just do it. Um, my younger one is <laughs> dad by nine. What's up, dads? Um, only eight dollars left on the Macy's. Yeah, because people are spending it. <laughs> OK, like you've got to spend the money. Uh, you know, people are going to be fast on these cards. I have one more card to give away. I'm going to take a couple questions. We have a hundred dollar Amazon card. Uh, folks, you can rewind, and there's probably money on a lot of those cards. Um, go out and spend it. Um, I won a few times. I think I bought enough for now. Good for you, entrepreneur mindset. I'm super stoked you're winning so much. Uh, what rules have you broken so far to get where you are now? Great, great question. So one thing I tell people, if you haven't seen me before, is break the rules. Don't break the law, okay? Okay. You can break rules. Um, I've broken rules against like cloaking, right? Like I didn't, you know, I would hide my links from Google or Facebook so they couldn't see what the real landing page was um, because I, they, I knew they'd ban my ad if they saw my real landing page. But I knew that the landing page that I wanted to use was just so money Um you know, every dollar I'd spend with Google or Facebook, I'd make back like three or four. So I was like, OK, you know, would I rather use a different landing page and make back like one or two dollars? Or would I rather use a more aggressive one and make back three or four dollars for every one dollar I spent? I'd rather make more. So uh, when I was younger, I would just, you know, I would do a lot of cloaking I'd say I, another rule I broke was I snuck into a marketing mastermind. That's how I met my first mentor was I, this, this marketing mastermind, which cost, um, it cost a hundred thousand dollars a year to be a part of. I snuck into one of their meetings um, because I, you know, I 
I found out about it through some like online group and uh, I just snuck in. I just literally just walked in. You know, there's a doorman that said, hey, do you have your ticket? And I said, oh, yeah, uh, my friend's right there. He's he's got it. I'm with him. And I just kind of I just kind of said some stuff to get in. Um, another rule I broke was marketing on cam on my school campus. You're not allowed to put up posters on school. I would put up posters all the time because every time I put up posters, I made money. Um, and I was learning marketing. So I broke that rule. You know, I also, uh, you know, you can break lots of rules, right? I think it's fine. Hey, John, I want to be a billion. I'm not a fucking billionaire yet, bro. Look at me. I'm still, I'm still stacking. So I don't, I don't spend a lot of my money, right? That's not why you see, I don't have the marble stuff. I don't have all the fancy stuff. I live very frugally because again, I want to make money and keep it, not spend it. Is advertising and copywriting the same? No, advertising is um, putting out ads. Copywriting is writing ads. What did I learn from Charles? No, um, I'd say I learned, uh, I learned cloaking. <laughs> um, I learned cloaking. Uh, Super affiliate system rocks. Thanks. Okay. Best book to read for best mindset. Read. Best book for mindset. Okay. Here, let me get the link. It's called The Millionaire Fast Lane. And it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to get a link right now. Um, and please ask your questions, ask your questions, ask your questions. Um, I'm going to be delivering a, uh, I'm going to be going over a lot of questions right now. Okay. Millionaire fast lane. Okay, so this book is great. I recommend everyone buy this book. It's fantastic. I have ten dollars to spend. Where can I make some profit? Don't spend your money. Don't spend it. If you have ten dollars, just save. Save your money until you have a few thousand dollars. You shouldn't be spending any money. Um, <laughs> stop spamming. Um, is it possible to buy a pixel or lookalike audience for promoting affiliate products? I mean. I give away audiences to my students of my, uh, I give away buy like a ton of buyers lists to, to my students, um, of my super affiliate system program. Uh, but I mean, you can also just find databases online all over the place. Look at all these free databases, right? Free databases. Um, some of these are buyers lists, right? Some of these are total buyers lists, uh, that, that, you know, you can find lit buyers lists online if you know where to look. Again, you just have to, but if you're not in it, if you're not looking, if you're not going crazy, you know, spending the time, you won't find it, right? I know where to find, like, everybody's hacked information, right? I, I know, I know, like, uh, I'm everything, the amount of stuff I can do because of I know where to look on the internet is absolutely retardedly powerful um like i have power that's just to do things that is almost unimaginable because i know so much about where to find things on the internet um what's the best side site to make money i'd say clickbank how do you think responsibility and discipline are connected um i think you have to figure out what you're responsible for, and then be disciplined about completing it. Um, break rules, not laws. Who's my celebrity crush? Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. I am in love with her. That is totally my celebrity crush. I even thought she she looks hot even when she has her head shaved. I'm um, talking about. I think it was Minority Report. Um, she is. Oh man. She's amazing. Um, good. Some tips on 
to promote a legal translation company locally. Uh, find find out where people who speak other languages hang out and then market there. Yeah, like put up postcards or print out some paper, you know, put up some ads. I'd say just find out where the people that buy those services are and then figure out how you should target them, whether they should be through paper or ads or postcards, whatever. Um, how many cards are left? There's one more card left. We have one more card left. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no, we have two cards left. Oh, wait, we have three cards left. We have more money we're giving away. Let's uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Amazon or Visa? Amazon or Visa? $50 on Visa, $25 to $500 on Amazon. Visa, Amazon. Amazon, any site. Let's see. Visa, Amazon. Okay, we're going Visa, and then we're going to complete it out with the two Amazon monsters, okay? Visa, here we go. Who won money today, by the way, so far? Uh, are there like lots of winners here? Has anybody won? Mul I, I know some people win multiple times. We're giving away a lot of money today, folks. Okay, here's the here's the visa. The people who are not winning are probably on smartphones and on slow internet connections. Who here is on a desktop computer or a laptop? Who here is on a real computer? I know all you 15 year olds are freaking on your smartphones, addicted. Don't be that person who's addicted to your smartphone and lazy and has a five second attention span. Don't be that person because you're not going to be successful in business if you are. I know a lot of you are 15-year-olds addicted to your smartphones and have no attention. I see you. Okay. We're going straight into Amazon. Amazon, $25 to $500. What do I think about Mr. Beast? I think he's awesome. I don't know. I haven't... I haven't... Uh, I haven't I don't know too too much about him but seems like a cool dude. Amazon, here's where the Amazon is. Is creating a product as a newbie advisable? Um no, just 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 be an affiliate or drop ship somebody else's product. Make money. If you create a product then I mean Sell somebody else's product first, and then sell, you know, and then create your own. Make more money. Okay. Amazon. Gonna scratch this. Uh, What's the biggest um, what's the biggest problem for you guys starting out? And who do you guys think is the best who's like the best who are like the best like online guru marketing teachers out there right now? Who do you guys feel is the like the best online marketing teachers right now? Other than me. Other than me. I'm looking to get inspiration of what I do next year uh, for my YouTube channel. I'm not I'm not even sure. So I'm going to go over some stuff. I'm not even sure how many videos I'm going to be producing next year. Um, because I'm, I'm not going to be doing five a week. I'll tell you that. This year was rough. Halfway through the year, I almost quit out. But I don't. I don't quit. Visa is gone, girl. Yeah, this money's going. You got to be fast to claim this money. Okay, we got we got one more gift card. I'm going to answer some questions first. 
feel lost. Yeah, that makes sense. Not fasted enough. Someone else redeemed. Yeah, you have to. Natalie. Oh, she's a feminist. I'll make it. That'll make it better, huh? Um, there's no way you're all that fast. These guys. My audience is fast, James. You'd be surprised. Um, we got 200 people on here who are like internet nerds. 200 internet nerds. Um, you got to have a fast connection or else YouTube also delays the live video feed more. So if you're not like wired in, um, it'll also delay your stuff. So that, that has been one of the issues is that the people with the fastest computers get the most money. Um, okay. Favorite exercise. Uh, I like skiing. Um, you're welcome. Nelson Nelson. Are you a football fan? I like soccer. I'm not, I'm not really big on watching soccer as much as playing it. What's the best sites to offer a service for free? Any social media network? Um, I'm on tablet. Yeah, your connection slow is bad. Uh, I buy tons of books every week. That's good. What is creating? I love Millionaire Fast Lane. Millionaire Fast Lane, highly recommended, folks. Um. Okay. Questions. 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 Um. I will get to the last Amazon money in a minute here. Are you doing stocks? I mean, I have money in stocks. I don't manage it though. I work with an investment manager to invest all my money. I just I spend so much time on my business and doing marketing. I don't really. I don't think it's worth my time to try to become an expert at stocks too, right? Like, look, all of us are here, like, you know, we have a certain amount of hours a day. If I'm working 14 hours a day to become better at marketing, uh, if, if there, there's some other dude somewhere that's working 14 hours a day trying to become good at stock trading, I'd rather just give him my money and let him figure out how to do it better than me. Right. It doesn't make sense for me to spend an extra hour or two a day trying to learn stocks. So then, you know, I'm not going to be as good as the other dudes. Um, I don't do drop shipping. Is IQ option legit? I don't know what that is. What are my favorite cookies? Chocolate chip. Um, I don't know what stocks to buy. Why your parents didn't get you everything. My parents got me stuff. They got me like some like rock climbing gear this Christmas. Um, uh, rec zone. Any tips for 14 year old outside the U S to make money? Same thing as anybody else to make money. Just, you know what you have a, you have a freaking smartphone, shoot yourself, do social media, influencing stuff, put out content every day, talk about products that you can put up a link for like an affiliate product or an Amazon product. You know, just talk about stuff that people can purchase. Get yourself used to selling stuff every single day. You know, that's the best thing. If you just get your smartphone, remember, don't produce. I mean, don't consume, right? Don't don't watch anybody else's content on, you know, social media, right? Then you're the then you're the product. You produce content and just sell stuff every day. Produce content where you're talking about. You know, here's one of my dirty little secrets. I love the National Enquirer, right? I love the National Enquirer, okay? And I get the magazine every time I go. So if I was to start a YouTube channel, I could just talk about the National Enquirer. I could just talk about this, and I could talk about the magazine. Um, it's a gossip magazine, um, and it's a, something people can buy. So just talk about stuff people can buy. I could talk about this computer. I could talk about, you know, this this really cool USB drive that's like ultra secure. Talk about stuff that you've bought on social media every day. Get used to selling stuff. Um, I finally found my coin, by the way. It was at the bottom of all these cards. Uh, okay, we have okay, we have one more gift card to give away. I'm gonna go over some more questions though. What is the one thing I do to relax if I have free time? I like some, uh, oh, you, here's a few things. Um, at the end of the day, I like to smoke weed, make myself a bath with Epsom salt, 
and turn off all the lights except one or two candles. Then I will sit in my warm bath with candle with nothing but candlelight, smoke maybe a little weed, and just relax for 30 minutes. No music, no nothing, just sitting in my tub, sitting in my tub. Um, and uh, another thing I like doing at night um, to relax, you know, I'll make a fire with my daughters in my fireplace, which is right over there. Um, another thing is just sitting outside on my chairs, on my lounge chairs, and just looking at the stars and looking for shooting stars. It's really cool. And you just sit, sit and just look at the sky and look for shooting stars. I love it. Um, I run to relax. I read to relax. Okay. But these are kind of semi-productive things, right? I try not to overdo it. Do I do meditation? No, I think I'm going to start, right? I think I'm going to start meditating. I've been having some like, you know, we've been having some like miscommunications in my marriage recently, and that's been like affecting me. So I think I'm going to start meditating. Um, 214 internet nerds. Yeah. You can't see stars in LA. Uh, I'm in Malibu. So I'm a bit outside of LA. Um, what's my dream to start a space company, to be involved in space, to be involved with the most interesting people of our time that are doing the most interesting things. Yeah. I mean, I'm everybody's quarantined right now. Uh, sitting at the sky, <laughs> Danielle Bradley. Yeah, you get it. You get it. It's great. Um, you are the fire motivation. Thank you. Real fact, please gift card. I now have 10%. Okay, folks, here's the hundred dollar gift card to find a space company. I don't know yet. Um, I think one way to go about it would be like, if you created a gondola that went from the moon to the space station, right? If there was a space. If you could like last mile communicate, last mile transport from, let's say a lunar base, you know, I, I and I think I'll be doing this probably in like a three to five year, you know, like five year time frame. So where the nature of space will be, will be different in five years. I think, I th but I think it's involving transportation, okay, transportation or some sort of renewable energy collection in space. I think those two areas are like fire, okay? Um, maybe, yeah, I was thinking a gondola company would be cool in space. And this is, uh, oh, wait, I have to scratch it. Got lucky. So this is the last gift card of the day. Okay, $100. I'm spamming my chat right now. Okay. Merry Christmas. What will interest you to work with somebody as a business partner? Um, somebody who's highly, highly successful in what they do. Uh, I'd say, you know, an example is, you know, somebody who's, um, who, who would confidently say they are one of the top people in the world at their specific thing whether that's management, whether that's data science. Um, you know, I'm looking for a chief marketing officer right now. So, um, but I'm looking for a chief marketing officer that has experience with B2B software, right? Um, and finding product market fit in B2B software. So that's what would interest me for a business partner right now. And it'll probably be the last person who will get employee equity. So if, you know, but again, those are very specific things, right? Most of you probably don't have experience with 
finding product market fit in B2B software else you'd have tens of millions of dollars, okay? Or at least millions. Um, T-shirt selling business is great. Yeah, if you don't make money doing it, you're just, you're not meant to be an entrepreneur. Do I have a neighbor celebrity? Uh, yeah, there's celebrities that live around us. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot. What do I, uh, I already said that. I'm trying to start an online business about snacks. I don't know. Shoot YouTube videos about snacks. Okay. Folks, great talking to you. I'm going to get going. Merry Christmas. I had a fantastic time. See you.